back to the channel. So today I decided I am going to update the screen on this Nintendo Game Boy. Um, it's an original Nintendo Game Boy. That's why it still has kind of the funky purplish color, um, pink, purple, whichever one you want to go with. Um, so original shell, um, I do have a clean juice uh, in the back just because why replace batteries if it's not needed. Um, but yeah, I, I purchased the, what is it, the funny playing IPS screen, um, which is right here. Uh, and then that also comes with this whole part assembly as well. So with that, I think we can go ahead, take this apart. The one thing I did forget to buy was the um, bracket, which I know is recommended. So we'll see what happens when I try it without. Um, I also have uh, a different case if needed. We'll see how much modding I have to do to this case. Hopefully not a lot uh, to make this work. Cause like I said, this is an original case and I do like its aesthetic overall. I also purchased a replacement screen just because this one's showing its age and has some scratches. I don't know if you can really see any of them, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so first part of all of this, and while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the fan just so you don't get a bunch of noise. First part, you know, we'll just take the battery out um, just because it needs to come out anyways. Like so. One day I'll actually attach the adhesive when I'm done messing with it. And then we get to take out a bunch of screws. ribbon off and she is out so on the back side is your main board um, this side is going to be uh, the board that we're going to end up replacing so we'll really be able to take all of this out uh, I did purchase a new speaker um, just because it's clear and I do like that speaker purchase some new buttons again I'm just going to clear out the whole thing um, obviously there are tons of different options that you can choose from um, so whatever preference you have um, they probably have that available for you so let's go ahead get these screws out and get this board and everything removed again i'll probably speed up a few parts of this just because I'm sure you guys don't want to have to watch all of this. Take that off while we're at it as well. Put all that to the side. Overall, overall I will say this is quite clean. Um, but I think I'm gonna grab some like Windex paper towel just to make sure any dust and anything like that, just whatever collected.
perfect. This thing's from like 1989. So do what you can. Um, we'll put that to the side for a minute. So we have this board here. A um, few things that we're going to want to do. You have this ribbon, right? Um, this would... that screen already kind of snapped on there you should have an adhesive right here so you want to take the top layer of that off and get this all set up nicely So, I'm fine leaving that tape there. From here, because the screen is going to have to go that way. Grab these pins, pull those up. Put that here. That is secure. And then you need to put and solder your speaker, which is this guy right here just for a reference back of the speaker will be like so when you look since it doesn't mark which is positive which is negative we're gonna say that that's negative and this is positive so let me heat up the gun. We're going to move over to the camera or microscope. Have that in frame. We'll start recording. Just gonna put a little bit of flux on here, just because I want it to not damage anything. While we're waiting for the soldering iron to heat up, should be good now. Got my solder. Just gonna fill in these holes here. <laughs> Minus one. fly through this so get a little sloppy. I'm just gonna do a little bit more here and then we'll attach the speaker. enough doesn't have to be perfect just has to hold Now 
Oh, it's being picky. So we'll go do this one. We'll go back to the other one. gotta change my settings on this thing to make a different video. That's fine. I'm gonna add just a little bit more solder on here. Not a fan of how flat this one's being. There we go. That'll be good. All right, so we got all that set up. Consider that ready to go. Now we have to look on here. Um, if I am not mistaken. Oh, let's pull out the screen. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I want to compare this to the other one I have because this one's going to be kind of like the ready to mod, right? I'm just curious. Oh, they didn't make it much bigger. What they did do, so these two tabs up here, they took those out. So I'll try taking those out. We'll put together. If I don't like it, I can swap it over to the other. But I have a feeling it'll be fine. thing because I'm going to assume that the screen will sit on these as you just want to make sure they're extra extra flat so you don't cause damage to the screen. <laughs> a pad. I'll take the pad, which will have adhesive. Make 
so <laughs> keep on going back to this one just because this does seem to be bigger I'm gonna guess yeah but it's just not enough for me to care I don't know that I really have to trim anything we'll see it's all a learning experience um, I could take time and peel this off that'd probably be a smart thing to do because we don't need that one anymore oh, which now that showed a bunch of junk yeah. all right so we're gonna have to clean some of this up as well that's fine for now we going to mount this adhesive and then we will put in the new buttons <laughs> Take this off here. any way to line this up we're gonna beg for a miracle to see if I can get this to be somewhat in line let's take a look nope that's bad so far off to a bad start that's all right though really I'm just looking for it to center which I'm going to say that's okay for now and we'll test it, which is not a big deal. put a bunch of screws in as I just dropped screws on the floor because I totally forgot about the screws I left in here that's actually pretty hilarious oh well not a big deal screws I have a plenty so we're just gonna screw this down just to hold it in place we're not gonna finalize because what we're gonna do is test it and see how the screen looks so that's where we are obviously i have this cover that'll go over and make that look better nonetheless i think it'd be good to Get this in. So, easiest way would probably be nope, 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 nope. Sorry if I'm off camera. Let's try to line this up. So, that's in. We'll pretend that we're all back together. Well, we'll have to put the power button on because otherwise I'm not going to be able to turn it on. Oh, well, the power button's still there. Never mind. 
So we're good. We're good. And then we will put this on. feel about that red light I'm not a fan of the red light I might want to change that we'll see um, but let me throw a game in it usually I have tons of games lying around and I am not seeing one in my general vicinity there we go do the game that I've had ever since it came out that's all good and So the reality is, is I could actually come up with the screen a little bit, and I think I'm gonna do that just because I can see that it's a little bit off, but I'm actually really, really close. Um, so yeah, I'll take a little bit of messing around with, but not enough to worry about it. Cool. Take the game out, I'll mess with that. And then I will show you the final result. All right, got it all back together. Um, also, like I said, keep in mind, this is a original 1989 um, shell, right? If you were to buy a new shell, uh, you know, it'd look a little bit more like this. Um, you know, the coloring, the red, I mean, it's fine. I just really like this color, and it just reminds me of when I was a kid uh, and had one of these. Um, I didn't have this exact one, but I had one very similar. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just like this version of it more um, than this red here. That's me. You are able to do whatever you want when you build your own. Um, but, yeah, I also I deactivated um, that LED light. Uh, I just wasn't interested in having a red light. Uh, again, that's a me preference. Um, I just basically just desoldered um, and removed. I, I do have other uh, LEDs small enough to fit there. Um, so I will be able to maybe transfer that over to like a blue LED or something to that effect in the future. But right now I'm not worried about it. Um, you can't really see it. Maybe you can if I get close. But you can see where the plastic of the case, right? So that's how much on an original shell you would have to cut off um, to make it so the screen fits. You can also tell my screen's a little off kilter, but it's not enough for me to care. Um, it's not like I actively use this thing all the time. I just wanted to update it. So obviously that means I do recommend uh, a different shell. All of those kind of pain points would go away. Um, funny playing, I believe on like handheld legends, they also have like a whole drop 3d print kit. So you can put the screen in, it bolts down, um, perfectly. So it's a perfect fit. Everything is aligned. Everything's perfect. So you don't have to finick it, fin it, be finicky, uh, and mess with it. Like I had to, to, to get it somewhat center and straight. Um, but nonetheless, it works great. Uh, the screen is much better. You know, you can dim it. Um, I'm not going to go through all the features, but you can change the pixels, you can change the background color, all that kind of stuff. So it's a really big upgrade. Uh, I think I picked it up for $50, more than happy with it. Um, I like having the white buttons with the translucent uh, um, pads and all that kind of stuff, plus the speaker um, as opposed to the stock speaker. So really happy with this have the new screen on as well which is more of a glass than that plastic so i don't have to worry about it scratching as enough uh, as much um, but yeah 
This is a, a great upgrade. I do recommend it. It keeps this thing current between that, having the, the USB-C, you know, volume is perfect. Yeah, very happy with this build. Um, like I said, I may switch out that LED light in the future. Um, I might have a row of them lying around to show you what that looks like. But I mean, these things are tiny, tiny. Yeah, so like this is 10 pieces of green. Uh, and I mean, they're super, super small. So it takes a little bit of time to, to get those set up and to get them proper. You know, you need to use the uh, more of a heat gun than using a soldering iron. So they take a little bit of finesse uh, to do. But I may do that in the future if I uh, do decide uh, that it is important to me. As of right now, it's really not. Uh, and I'm more than happy with how this came out. So as always, uh, thank you for joining uh, and watching me build this. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, any of your support, always, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, tell me what you would build. Uh, tell me if you love or hate uh, the way that I went with it, keeping it more of the original as opposed to doing something crazy. I mean, I have other videos where I do full shell replacements and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to maybe show just a little bit of an enhancement where you get a better screen um, and, you know, you're not uh, having to rebuild the whole thing. But yeah. With that, uh, I hope you guys all have a good day. And like I said, please subscribe, comment, tell me how I'm doing. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, I'm more than happy to take requests on what you want to see built, um, modded, so on and so forth. I'm happy to go down those routes. But yeah, take care. Bye-bye.